Welcome to a tutorial on the weaving of a three-armed or three-legged St. Bridget's cross. This shape is a subtype of the four-armed cross and due to the three arms it is often compared to the Celtic Triscoll symbol. Historically, most of the three-armed crosses were made in the northern counties of Down, Antrim, Donegal and Armagh. In many places they were actually made together with the four-armed cross which was then hung in the house, whilst the three-armed cross was often hung in the buyer. But now, let's take a look at how the three-armed cross is made. Pick up your first rush and hold it at the halfway point. Pick up the next one, hold it at the halfway point between your thumb and your index finger and then wrap it around your thumb. And then wrap that rush around the first one at the halfway point. And pull back the arms of the first rush in order to form a triangle and then try and hold it there. Pick up your next rush, fold it at the halfway point and wrap it around the second rush and push it right against the vertical rush. Then pick up the next rush, fold it at the halfway point and wrap it around the previous rush. Now reach up to grab the next arm and pull it down to meet this rush as you turn in the cross anti-clockwise. From here on we keep repeating this step. Pick up the rush, fold it at the halfway point, wrap it around the previous one. Reach up for the next arm and pull it down to meet the latest rush as you turn it anti-clockwise. Next one, fold it, wrap it around the previous one, pull down the arm and turn. Fast forward a few rounds until your cross reach the desired size. Pull out one of the previous rushes to create a loop. Then pick up your next rush as normal, fold it, and when wrapping it around, make sure that both arms have been fed through this loop you just created. Tighten everything up and now all your rushes are secured. Now you can cut off the ends and tie them with a string or an elastic band. However, I always like to hide the elastic bands and for that, pick up a rush that was cut close to the ground, where the rushes tend to be a lot sturdier. Leave the lower few centimeters intact and flatten the remainder before feeding the top end through the elastic band. Then wrap it around three times horizontally to cover up the elastic band. And a fourth time diagonally. Hold everything in place and turn the cross around to look for a good spot to feed through the sturdy end of the rush. Continue to hold the wrapped portion in place and flatten the rush forming the loop if necessary. And then pull it all the way through. And remember, if one rush snaps or the end is too soft to feed it through, just try it with another one. As a final step, shorten the loose ends and cut the arms to your liking. And here's your three-armed cross. If you enjoyed making this one, why not try another one? I have all the links in the description. Thank you so much for watching.